okay uh guys um so we we are back again with uh example of integrals no? so uh on 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 this question we are going to uh do what you call uh changing of uh limits now it's still the same thing uh but then now we're going to change also the limits so uh we are given uh these two uh intervals now which is pi over 2 and pi so we're going to uh, simplify this equation and then i'm going to also change this interval now so now uh, when you are integrating uh trigonometric ratios like this uh, what you have to uh, keep in mind or to focus on is the uh, the, the the exponent so we have to check uh, whether the exponent is an odd number or it's an even number. Um, so there's a uh, different approach between the two. But now because we have an odd number, what we're going to do is to split our, our um, trigonometric uh, ratio. Um, so we're going to say it, uh, this is going to be equal to cos x squared multiplied by cos x so when you multiply these two <clears throat> sorry we still get what we still get um x to the power uh this one so we also get what cos x squared uh cube so cos x cube so and then let's put our intervals yeah so now uh what you're going to do uh we're going to check we're going to change one we can then say let uh u be equals to cos uh no sorry we're not changing uh here actually because even if uh we can say let u equals to cos x now we won't be able to cancel one so what we're going to do now we're going to take our identities of it of cos uh square x so the identity of cos square x is going to be one minus sine uh, square x right so then now you're going to substitute here that means the equation now it's still right the equation let's let, let's write it here so that we have uh, enough space so uh the equation would be at pi uh pi over two into one minus sine squared x into cos x right so this is still equals to right this is still equals to cos squared and then this is what this is cos x so if you're going to multiply this because this is cos x cos squared and multiply by cos we're still going to get what we're still going to get uh cos x to the power three and then um now we can then say we can let u now be equals to sine x no so if we let u equals to sine x, then we derive uh, sine x in terms of, uh, we, der we derive this sine x in terms of u. So that means we're going to have uh, cos, the derivative of sine is cos x, right? And then we make uh, dx a subject of the formula. Therefore, we have du over cos uh, x equals to um, dx, right? So then now we can take substitute dx with this dx here, the original one, right? So that uh, now we have an equation saying uh, 1 minus u squared into cos x multiplied by, now dx is equal to what? du over cos x, so that this cos will cancel and have what? Now we are integrating in terms of u right in terms of u like this okay let's put it pi like this so now uh we can be able to uh integrate but before we integrate we can uh, change our limits no? so to change our limits what you're going to do when you are changing limits you are going to take uh, the value of u here take u is equal to x and then because um 
x is equals to pi this one we're going to substitute a pi into it into u equals to sine x no? so that means now you're going to have it uh, sine over uh, sine pi no? and then we're also going to have it x is equals to pi over 2 this is going to give you it you can say it's u equals to uh, sine uh, sine with sine pi over 2 right and then we have what and then we have a new limit so this uh, pi over uh, sine pi over 2 this is uh, is sine 90 actually sine 90 is equals to 1 and then this is what this is sine 180 and sine 180 at 0 right so that means that now if you are going to change your limits like this there's no need for you after integration to put back what you call to put back the value of u. That means now uh, we can in, let's integrate this and so that means our interval now at at uh, zero and one and then we have what the integral of one it's uh, u uh, minus the integral of this one is going to be u to the power three over three. Now, like this uh so let's cancel this one and put it this side plus c and then have zero and one yeah? so then uh from here now we can substitute straight our values offered of uh, of u because now uh when you when you have sub when you have changed your limits like this there's no need for you to put back your value of u to put back sine you uh like if we, you're having you we said u is equal to sine we can substitute like this is minus uh and then we have sine cubed over x over three like this so there's no need for you to do this step after you have changed this one so that means from here you can just substitute your values straight from here so you can have what one minus um 1 to the power 3 over 3 plus c then put it in bracket and substitute again going to be 0 um your 0 and then you have what um oh, minus 0 cubed over 3 and then you have your answer like this so this is how we're going to change it the, um to change your your intervals num or else if you didn't change your intervals that means you're going to deal with this step so here you're going to put back your pi and pi over 2 so then now you can substitute uh, on this case right so uh, then uh, let's do another quick example of uh, okay let's take another example still going to do example of trigonometric ratios let's say now uh, you are having pi uh, zero like this uh, and then having cos squared uh, let's say theta sine uh, five and then uh, theta and then we're deriving in terms of we're integrating in terms of theta like this so if you are having question uh, like this one so like every time I said we're going to concentrate on it on the powers so but then now you have uh both of them have two powers so that means you're going to only concentrate on the one that is having what the highest power so the one that is having the highest power is this word uh sine five now so for you to change uh sine five now you're going to have what um you're going to have cos squared theta this one right and then we're going to put it in bracket or before we can put it in bracket uh, let's not do shortcut and say this is cos squared theta the first one multiplied by uh we're going to have what cos uh to the power four theta multiplied by cos theta now let's say so this multiplied by this one you get still get one five 
sorry it's sine and not cos why is sine here still have what sine to the power 4 this sine and then multiply by sine to the uh, sine here so that this one is still giving you what still giving you uh, 5 like this so now because now uh, this our highest power still is what it's still uh, a um, what you call it, it's a it's a even number so if it's an even number now you're going to uh, split it in this way you can have cos square theta this one and then going to put it in bracket now if it's like this you can uh, split it and say this is sine uh, square um, square theta and put it in bracket and then say square theta like this so that this is giving give us what give us four so then you can then say uh if this one give us four we can then now say that this uh we can substitute this one with its identity the identity of sine square is equals to one minus cos uh square theta to the power two this one multiply by your sine theta which is this one so this is how we're going to uh, increase or manipulate what you call uh, your your trigonometric ratios like um i hope uh, this one is as uh, simple as straightforward i should have started with this one but then we need to start with uh, a simplest one before you can get something like this so now um now we're going to let what we're going to let um we're going to let u be equals to cos no? we're going to let u be equals to cos uh, theta it's not x equals to cos theta so that the integration uh sorry the derivative of cos u over d theta is going to be minus sine theta right so then we can substitute here and have this one cancelled right so from there now we can say that this is what so this is your zero and pi then this now becomes u squared into one minus this one it's u squared all to the power u then you can still derive in terms of u again so then and now we're going to open this uh bracket first so we know that i uh, have one minus u uh this is squared right and then we also have one minus u squared so this is going to be one minus two u squared uh, plus u to the power four right so this is that this is the bracket here and then because we have u again inside u squared that means you this u squared is going to multiply everything inside the bracket so this u multiplied by this one is going to be u squared minus 2 u to the power 4 plus uh, u to the power 6 yeah because we multiply uh, numbers of the same basis we add the exponent then from here now we can do what we can uh integrate so the integration of this one is going to be u 3 uh, to the power 3 over 3 plus or minus 2 u to the power 5 over uh, 5 then this one is going to be u to the power 7 over 7 then plus c and then you can put what your pi and 0 so then uh, if you're going to continue with this limit therefore you need to put back to the value of u which adds what uh, the value of u we said u is equals to cos theta but if you're not going to continue with this limit you can then from here and say that if theta is equals to pi and then you are substituting this one in what u is equals to um what you can is equals to cos theta right so your answer here is going to be one pi over uh 180 pi i think it's is it one or minus one 
I'm not sure about the answer, but then I don't have a calculator with me. But then um, if your answer it's, I think one eight cos one eight it's minus one. I think it should start from one zero. Yeah, it's minus one. Okay, and then uh, for for this one for theta equals to zero, that means u is equals to cos a zero, which is equals to what uh, one, like this. I think uh, I think I think it's correct. I'm not sure about these answers, but then you can sub uh, get into your calculator and look at them. So then now we're going to substitute everything and get your final answer, right? So we are going to do our next question uh, where we're going to deal with um, areas. No? So then feel free to ask uh, or else to add questions, right? So to add questions, so you can email me your questions. Um, you can uh, just send an email at um, faguto, like this, faguto, mm, mm, at gmail.com. So here you can send your question and then say, uh, Mr. I'm having problem with this certain question. Can you please do it? So then we can uh, do it all together i will create a video solving the very same question that you have um and uh, we have sent to me so because i know that uh if i'm doing examples like this uh, so, uh to, to to some other people are uh, this example won't be that much helpful because maybe they already know these examples or they are uh, so that's why i'm saying it is open for everyone to send their own questions so on your mathematics so that I'll be able to do your question here. Uh, thank you. Don't forget to subscribe uh, and like the uh, video and also to share other videos with your uh, friends. Thank you.